five dot points on passing is, so if we need to, to make sure that we're covering off on, on some things to become really good passers, one is about reads. So we need to be able to read um, your own man, the next man, and then um, the helpline. Uh, the second one is space and fakes. So start playing with a little bit more space. Right? You'll find a lot of, and girls in particular, because they're so compliant um, and so literal, they'll come and they'll stand in the spot that you told them to stand in. Right? That's a space. So get away from spots and go to space. If they catch it out here, we've got more to play with. Right? If the ball gets floated out to there, you're still in the same space. And we can still play. You can still go through your formations. Um, but play with a little bit more space. Fakes are a gimme, and they can be dribble fakes, they can be pass fakes, but fakes, again, none of this is probably new to you guys. Uh, play with both sides of your body, again, nothing new, right hand, left hand, but make sure you're including your feet with that as well. So outside foot, right, left, you can cross them over, but then also take that one step further and be creative with how you play outside your body. So you've got scoops, you've got loops, you've got euros, you've got inside outs. Be creative with using both sides of your body, but Get the dexterity in as quickly as you can, as early as you can. Um, active receivers, so yeah, you might say, and they're not passing, it's key. They've got to be moving, right? They've got to want it, they've got to see it, and they've got to be moving. Active receivers, really important. Uh, and communication, big thing, all right? So let's get cracking. Uh, the first little bit, the first little bit will be, um, Passing skills, then we'll go to half court passing drills and then full court passing drills. Uh, the biggest thing with a lot of these drills is they need to be as um, contextual, as relevant as possible to a basketball game, right? So I would spend hours as a kid just hitting it against the wall. And that's great. And if you guys want to pass the ball against the wall, right, work on your handles, do that as much as you can, but do that in your own time. Yep, do it pre-game, pre-training at home as much as you can. We can't spend time during practice just throwing single ball push passes, bounce passes, overhead passes. All right, that's good for eights and 12, 10s and 12s. But once we get to this level here, they should be doing that on their own so that when we get to training, um, it's all relevant, it's all contextual. So make it look as real to basketball as you can. Um, all right, so starting with passing skills. So guys, if you guys just partner up and grab a ball between your partner, We'll pop you guys on the baseline. So first one is just partner passing. We won't put any defense on this. All right, who's the first partner up? All right. So you can just go single ball. So face your partner, ball here. So how we make this, can you guys hear me? Is this all right? Right, thank you. All right. So again, this might look just like the stationary stuff. Yep, evolve that, make it on the move, all right? So we've got one ball here, we're gonna handle the ball. When you feel ready, you're gonna make a pass to your partner. You're gonna move backwards, you're gonna move forwards, all right? Now I want you to be creative with what you're doing. You can scoop it, you can loop it, you can push it. Yep, but we wanna snap it out. All right, here we go. Move forward, good, pop it out. Active, active. Who else wants to go? Good, and then pop it out, good. That's right, pick it up off the deck, pop it out. Make it a different pass every time. Good, once you get to halfway, come back. Halfway, come back. It doesn't, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Beautiful, all right, hold up. Good, now these guys are nervous, right? I'm not sure if you can tell. So that's all right, give them one little warm up and then start to increase the focus and what you want out of it, all right? Guys, so really good, drill looks good, right? But now we wanna put some pop into it. So as we're going through, right, pop that dribble and when we come out, we wanna scoop it. Yep, comes back, whatever it might be, pop. Yep, so we wanna get some snap. Everything looks sharp, feet sharp, hands sharp. One more go, off you go. Good, pop it, pop it. Good. Good, be creative, be creative. Different pass every time. Nice. Good, roll your hands around, snap it out, good. Put some wrist flick in it. Nah, I'll just, two balls per group, that's fine. 
That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Very good. Much better. Still nervous? Still nervous? Right, chuck this ball over here. All right, and then just increase the complexity of it. So two balls here. Okay, now we're just going to go one way. All right, so you're going to dribble the ball when you've got two, two ball dribbling, whatever that is. Same time, alternate time, moves, and now you're going to pop one out. All right, when you've got one ball, just handle the ball. You're going to drop the other one back in. Again, snap into it, and then we're going to pop it out. Again, use different passes. Push fakes, sorry, push passes, loops, scoops, curls, bounces. Yep, here we go. Let's have a look at this group. Good. Flow straight in, good. Whip it, whip it, whip it. That's all right, no mistakes here, good job. Good, different hands. Beautiful. There you go. That's it, different pass every time. Good. Very good. At halfway, you change it over. Good. Beautiful, all right? All simple, all stuff that you guys have probably done, right? But very quick, you could do single ball for two reps, two ball for two reps, they're warm, they've got handles in, they've got pop in there, but be really diligent, especially with females and guys that are kind of want to stick in their wheelhouse, is try something new, all right? These guys did a really good job, okay? I'll try a push pass, I'll get outside my body, right? If they can't try things and feel it in their body, they're not gonna do it in a game, all right? So this is a space where explore your body. Passing includes body. If you don't allow them to be free and put their body into the pass, then they're not going to be great passes. Okay, uh, group of three. Let's have another group of three with a ball over there. So one ball. All right, again, really simple. Offensive player, defensive player. No, one offensive player. Yep, cool. All right, exactly the same thing. One ball, we're going to move down the court. You're going to try and stay in the middle. All right, all you're looking for is deflections. You can adjust. She'll, if she's coming forward a little bit, you end up a little bit closer. That's okay, you can come back and forward. Okay, but you want to stay in the middle. You're looking for deflections. You're going to pass to her. So you're going to handle the ball. What's that? No, no, no. She's going to pop it back and then you're going to play this one here. All right, so again, what are you looking at here? Yeah, hands as well. Yeah, all right, here we go. Good, pop it back. Good, keep moving forwards. Good, that's it. Work your man down the court. Next group, have a go. So again, same drill, just a little bit more basketball relative with a defender in there. You're still working on that skill element. You've got your handles in there, picking up the deck, different kind of passes, but now you're adding in reads. Is she moving backwards, forwards, or her hands up, down? Very good. Nice, good. So, and again, you can guys can adjust these and make it as complex or less complex as you need to based on your group. Uh, let's grab another person over here. Get yourself a little bit of space. The offense has a triangle. Okay, we'll jump in, we'll grab a second defender. So let's get two defenders in the middle. So again, now this is where we start to use a little bit of that space, right? If we say be in a triangle, normally, these guys will be super compliant and they'll stay in this spot, right? So the defense will come out and they'll stay in this spot. Their pivots will be good, right? But they'll stay in that spot. So what we want you to do, being active receivers and using a little bit of space without being crazy, is be on your feet, but I can play around with the space. I can come into it, I can move. Yep, so I'm keeping these guys on their toes, right? But I'm being a better receiver to make this person a better passer. So you guys are just gonna go for 20 seconds, right? Again, fakes. No dribble at this point. Fakes, yep. Reading your man, reading the next. Yep, and you can pass. You guys are just trying to get steals. Deflections and steals. All right, 20 seconds, go. Good, D, you can do whatever you like, D. Whatever you like, D. Good, active receivers, good. On your toes, lovely. 10 seconds.
three, two, one. Good job, hold up. Lovely, right, you guys have done a great job. Their footwork's excellent. We never lost a pivot foot, no travels. Active receiving, great. We're on our toes, right, being agile, right? Excellent, really good job, okay? What's one thing that we're missing? Talk, all right? Really good skill-wise, but once we get to a game, and you guys know this, right, sometimes you can't see everything. You need to be able to hear it. So we need to see, hear talking. If you're passing, yes. Yep, no, yep, get open. Yep, kick it. If you're receiving, yep, let them know where you are. Yes, I'm open, out here. No, not open. Yep, so you're gonna go one more, 20 seconds, but let's hear it. You can change over. All right, here we go. Doesn't matter what you say. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good job. Very good on the talk. Here over there, you guys got a little bit shy through the middle. All right. Biggest thing. Are you guys normally talkers? Yeah. Nice. Yep. All right. Biggest thing is with young girls. No, they're lying. <laughs> is just get nervous and shy. All right, so if you can find a way to desensitize that or just give them permission or then make them do it, right, it'll become something they do do. They can. We're, females are amazing talkers, right? They really are. So we just got to find a way to make them more comfortable doing it. Okay, what you see though, generally speaking, this is why you need to evolve it. What you see when we do drills like that is we become quite upright, which is good. They're still reading. Yep, they're still practicing passes. They're still being active receivers, but we become quite upright. Right, which is a problem when we get to a game. So then just evolve the drill. So now you guys have to take one dribble. Yep, you need to take one dribble before you go. Now, before you take a dribble, you can actually jab, right? You can look to, you can, now that you can take a dribble to create an angle, you can use that jab to offset the defense, all right? Again, finding, reading the hands, reading the necks, yep, and finding good passes. And then like our skill work, we whip it in, whatever that is. All right, 20 seconds, go. Good, must take a dribble. Get after it, D, get after it, D. Good. 10 seconds. That's right, hand it back. Three, two, one. Good, right? And then it's just a conversation about appropriate hands passing, right? So if the hands are up, let's use our left hand and go around. Yep. If their hands are down, let's fake it and get it across, right? If they cover both, good. Make a double fake, bring it back to the other side of your body. Yep, so keep exploring correct passes using both sides of your body. Okay, let's go one step further. Must take two dribbles. Yep, any kind of fake, any kind of jab, must have two dribbles. So play around with it, give yourself a little bit more time, make a good decision, no deflections. Here we go. Good. No deflections. Left hand, outside hand. See both, see both. Good. Three, two, one. Good job, hold up. Nice, all right. Good job, guys. So again, simple or as complex as you need to be, right, and then just reinforce what you want. Right, so if we're passing across our bodies and you don't want that, then talk to them about it. Right, if they're playing out of stance and you want them in stance, talk to them about it. Right, if you want them to slow down, yep. If you want them to see the gaps, tell them to slow down and talk about that kind of stuff. Yep. Um, last kind of drill, we we'll call it post-passing drill. So we need O and D here, offense here, same on the other side, ball out here. We like this one because there's a lot going on. Uh, no defense on the post. No defense on the post, Jade, yep. All right, O and D on the wing. Okay. All right, so how this works, this is our post passer here. Remember we spoke about space, right? So yeah, you can play, you can come into it through here. Yep, you can take a dribble. Yep, you can create the angle, make the pass. You can use fakes, you can use your eyes, whatever you want. 
all right? But you want to make it in here without a deflection, all right? You're trying to get deflection, so don't pack off. All right, don't pack off, because if you pack off, literally that's all we should do. But that's not helping any of us, right? Unless we pass into Jay's long hand, right? That's not helping any of us. So we want deflections, right? The same thing at the same time is happening on this side. Yep, let's say the ball goes in, ball goes in. Good, all right? You guys are working on your, right? You catch on the low, on the hot, low block. Good, ball goes in, ball goes in. So it's a multi-drill, so we're going across, all right? So these guys here are working on their pivots. Don't care if you're a post or a guard, we're working on pivots, right? That could be a reverse pivot and see the court, or it could be a forward pivot and see the court. Don't cook, cook your dribble yet, okay? You're going to relocate either high or low. Yep, you're just going to kind of track in the middle. Don't defend it. So relocate high or low, relocate high or low. You guys pivot. You pivot, right? Always sit, pivot the other way. There you go, always sit. Relocate. Where are you relocating? You go on base. Good. You've got to hit that. You've got to hit that. Go back again. Pass this ball here. All right. Is that pass getting through with defense? Is that pass getting it through? No. Ball back here. Is that pass getting through with defense? All right. What pass would? Yeah, that would. What else would? Yeah. All right. So you guys aren't defending this. Ball connects to your teammate. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. Good, now you guys are gonna set up a cut, all right? So to cut, you wanna set up. So if I wanna cut this way, I'm gonna set up, and now I'm gonna cut, same thing. If you wanna cut, set up, all right? It doesn't, now you can go the low block, or you can go the high block, or the high, or the elbow. Make sense? Yep, doesn't matter, wherever you wanna go. Show us that. In a minute. All right, good, good, nice. Ball back out. All right, when these guys catch it, you, now you're going to play for deflections again. Play for deflections again. All right, again, now you're trying to make a post feed. Absolutely, you can create the angle by taking a dribble. Do that. Good, ball goes in. You go to work. Ball goes in. You go to work. So we must finish at the rim, right? So you can go middle, baby hook. You can go baseline power. It doesn't matter. But you guys have to communicate. You have to be aware. Yep. All right, let's have one quick look at that. Here we go. Good. Pivots. Relocate. Set up. Cut. Go to work. Excellent. Good job. All right. So then we rotate O to D, D to block. Okay. So once they've got the drill down, everyone's got the drill down? Yep. Yep. Guys, guys, hold up. Everyone's comfortable with the drill, yeah? might take an hour. Um, so once we've got the drill, so they understand it, there's a lot in that. They've got the drill. Now, any deflection is a push-up. Any mislayup is a push-up. Okay? So that increases the accountability of the drill, but what we're looking for is use your space, use your angles, make reads. Yep, use your footwork, relocate, whip it across, whatever it might be. If you don't have the power yet and you have to take a dribble to whip it, that's fine. All right, but we're trying to hit on the money. Make sense? All right, we're going to 10. 10 scores. Ready? Go. Turnover. Push up. Push up. Everyone's got to push up. Here we go. Straight back in. Straight back in. Here we go. High energy. Turnover. Push up. Good. Straight back in. Good job, D. Getting deflections. It's all right. We're getting strong at the same time. Good, relocate. You can relocate high or low. Good, yep. Stay in stance, stay in stance. Here we go. Where's our cut? Where's our cut? Turnover. Push up. Good. All right. How are we feeling? Confused? Hectic? Yeah? Guys, good. Yeah? It's really good. So jump back down here. Down here. Good. So remember, you can relocate high or low. Yep. You can relocate high or low. Yep. Biggest thing, take your time. Yep. Take your time. Use your spacing. Hit your teammates on the money. Yep. All right. Here we go.
Good, nice relocation. Take a dribble. Good. Very good. Rotate. Guys, it rolls until we get 10. So ladies, what are we missing? What are we missing? Talk. Everyone's talking. Ready? Go. Deflection. Push up. Straight in. Here we go. Keep talking. Keep talking. Good. Next in. Next in. Let's go, ladies. We're in. Where's our talk? Very good. All right, hold up. Good. So guys, it's always like that at the start. It's a complex drill in terms of, especially young females being compliant because there's a lot in it when they first learn it. That progresses really quickly, right? Once they get through the pattern, they know how it rolls in, then we get straight into, okay, now this is serious business, okay? Now we can't get through this drill if we don't communicate. Yep, and the communication is the key in this one. But the reason why this is good, one, post-passing. Yep, two, we force the defense to be uh, up and in, so deflecting, right? So it improves our post skills. We've got pivots, cuts. We can relocate to space to then create angles, right? So there's a lot of stuff in here that we need to work on, yep. Uh, it's a good drill, it just takes a little bit of time to kind of evolve through. Does anyone have any questions on any of that stuff so far, passing skills? Okay. So then we'll move to half-court passing drills. A lot of you guys know this one. Uh, you can go with four on four, five on five. Uh, but I went away from it for a long time because I thought it was uh, maybe a bit antiquated. It was a bit of an old-school drill. It's absolutely the best drill. One for, for conditioning. Uh, even for defense, but definitely for spacing and passing. So it's a 20, 20 pass drill. You guys might call it other things. So you're just in the half court. Who's on offense? One ball. Who's on offense? Black? Great. All right. You've, you've, you guys have probably all done this before. All right. So match up, White. Match up. Okay, so you've got the half court to use, right? Black, you've got to get the ball to each other. So good passes. You can bounce pass, that's okay. Right, you're going to move. You can screen away. Yep, you can cut two. You can rub off each other. Right, what you don't want to do is all five of you run to the ball. That's not what we do in basketball, right? No dribble. Yep, no dribble. Right, and you've got to start thinking two steps ahead. Yep, you can throw over the top. Okay, any deflection, any turnover, any dribble, any out of bounds is a turnover. You're trying to get to 20 passes. If it turns over, white, you're straight into it. You start your count again. Make sense? Here we go. Turn over. White ball. Go, go, go. Where's the talk? Turn over. Black ball. Go. Good. Straight in. Catch him napping. Catch him napping. Where's our talk? Turnover! White ball! Go get it, white! Start thinking, start thinking. What can you do? Can you get someone open? Black ball! Job. Who, who does this drill? Who do, who ha, who's done it? Who still does it? Yeah, cool. Yeah, these guys are pretty good at it. I mean, even our COE kids. Who's got 20? 20? Yes? Turn over. Keep playing, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you just have to do that with the young girls. You just have to shut up and ignore them.
Wait. That's alright, keep playing. Ooh. There's no turnover. Nah. She fell over. She, she got. Blue, black didn't get on it. Nice job. Alright, hold up. Hold up. Guys, really good. And these guys, are, these guys are really good at this. They're spacing, they're thinking about moving for other people. Uh, they're using the whole court. Uh, they're pretty good with the ball in hand. I think the defense could probably challenge that a little bit more. But again, female basketballs in Australia, very good at, I don't know if it's because we have netball, but very good at being able to do this. Okay, so now we want to drop their level a little bit, get back in a stance, because a lot of the times you're going to pass off the dribble. Yep. Uh, and not necessarily we want them to use their dribble for the sake of it, but because they need to use that dribble to create an angle to upset the defense, to get away from the defense. So same drill, but you have to take a dribble before you pass it. All right, you can still use your fakes. Yep, you don't have to use the dribble straight away. So if you can see somebody setting up a screen and you look at it and then you know your teammate's gonna go there, then you can put the dribble in and then find them on the outside, okay? But you must use a dribble before you pass. All right, 20 passes, go. Amazing, thank you. Turnover, must use a dribble. Turnover. And the catch with this one is trying to get them away from using the dribble for no effect. So a lot of them will just get it and pound it. Like once they're gonna use the dribble, use it for a reason. Good, good Jake, good. Keep talking to each other. Go white, go white. Good job. All right, hold up, good job. All right, so again, you're only limited by your imagination with some of these drills. If you want to make it um, more complex, absolutely make it more complex based on the, on the level of your group. Okay, so again, breakdown shooting drills. Yep, you can use them for passing as well. So we'll just do we'll just do one. All right, we'll do one without pick and roll, but you can do heaps with pick and roll. Three on zero, four on zero. You can go to five on zero. But again, you can put multiple things. It's a drill, but just make it a, a um, passing focus. So let's go. Uh, a guard up top, it doesn't really matter who's, who's where, so a guard up top, a post player here, uh, a trail spot up there, and a wing over there. Everyone else off. Curtis, can I have any on the baseline? Curtis, can you pass on the baseline? So again, two balls is always preferred. No defense. Jay, jump in, Jay, jump in here. What's your name? Cordry. Cordry. That's a great name. Audrey or Cordry? Audrey, great name. Audrey's got the ball here. What's your name? Ellie. Ellie, Ellie up top. What's your name? Tia. Tia? On the wing. Okay. So again, just use whatever actions or whatever sets that you're using. Uh, again, it doubles up on that. They get to understand the patterning, but you just put the, reinforce the spacing in that. So for here, we rerun post action. We run a big cut post action. So normally we'd have a wing here, but we don't want that many players in. You need a ball. Need a ball. So Audrey's going to dribble here. She's going to dribble entry. That wing gets out. You're going to post up. Nice, strong target. Again, don't rush it. Come to here. Imagine there's a defender there. We're going to make a pass. None of this is rushed. All right, we've had rush drills. None of this is rushed. Take your time. Use a fake. Use a balance. Make a good pass. All right, so stay here on the wing. Good. Again, you can play like this with your head on your shoulder, Jade. Um, Ellie. All right, Ellie's going to basket cut to the edge of the backboard. Okay. You can play and you can look at that. If you wanted to open up, you can open up and look at that. Right, we drag the defense down. You're making a strong overhead. Uh-uh. Look at those muscles. A strong overhead to Tia. Good. Yep. Post up in here. Yep, post up in here. Again, we're going to make a post feed. All right, so we come through here. We make a post feed. Sorry, we come here. We're looking at making this post feed. You're going to flash to the high post. All right, we're looking at this. We hit Jade at the high post, right? Appropriate passes. Ball goes in there. You seal, you're looking for this target, high, low. High, low. Yep, you can either pass that or you can rip, drive, and finish. 
okay? Once that happens, you're going to relocate, right? You, you want to get the ball off Curtis, right? So you might come up to here. As long as you're not in line with anyone, as long as you're not in line with anyone with Curtis, you guys are hunting the ball. Yep, he's going to hit you, you're going to shoot it. All right, here we go. I can pass to either of them. You can pass to anyone, except the person that shoots it. Not the big dog, yeah. Not the big, yep. Good, take your time, take your time. Be precise, good fake. I right, look at it. Good, bang, relocate, shoot it. I like the extra pass though. Good, next group in, next group in. All right, we're going to, we're going to three makes. Ladies, let's work through our drill. So next four, next four, ready to go. Next four, ready to go. Here we go. What's your name? Charlie, you're at the top. You jump across to the big spot. All right, here we go, ball here. Dribble in, go back, keep it. Guys, guys, slow down. I know, it's almost like you're learning a new set. Ball up here. Good, so slow down, dribble in. Just like you would in a game. You post up in here. Take your time, take your time. Yep, pass here. Cut. Good, you can square, you can look at that, so you're gonna pump fake that in there, pivot. Good, hit that hard. Hit it hard, seal. Good, wait. Look to play this, uh -uh. put it down. Yep, good, look. Ball goes in, flash. Yep, into your buddy. Relocate, want the ball, active receivers. All right, here we go. Let's go, three reps. Good, talk to each other. Good, Audrey, good. Good, time it. Good. Who wants it, who wants it? Good, next, next group in, next group in, roll through. Next group, roll through. Good. See it. Good. Last one. Last one. Good. All right. Guys, grab a drink. Good job. Have a drink. So again, you can format any of those based on your sets, your structure, your actions. So you're doubling up with getting them to learn the patterns, right? You can take it to live, right? You can put four defenders in there. Yep, you can reduce the intensity of the defenders. So you say we're only going to play 50% so they at least have somebody in front of you. Say we're going to play without contact so they can use their hands. You can modify that however you like. Um, but it's more basketball relevant, okay? And the really cool thing is you double up on anything else that you might need to get done, right? And then through that, obviously there's a fair bit of complexity in that. You can see them getting caught up on what's important and what's not important, and then coach the parts that you think are important, okay? Yeah, we need to be in stance. We wanna play with more space, right? Get a really good target, slow down. Yep, appropriate feeds, outside hands, right? You can put all that in there, yep, okay. Does anyone have any questions on some of the half-court passing drills? The really good thing about that, we just did a post action, but you can do out of so, like mid, we have mid pick and roll, pop here, mid pick and roll, roll here, kick back, you know, using all different kinds of types of passes. But it's a nice way to practice passing because it's super relevant. Yep, it's super relevant. And then if it becomes too easy, right? If that's too easy, if your group is a little bit more advanced than that, then put defense on it. Yep, put defense on it and then just put rules about passing, right? So a deflection is a turnover. Yep, um, adjust the defense in, in however way that which way that you need to, to get that, that um, transfer out of it. Okay, you guys got some full court in you? All right, all right. Um, the other thing we found last year is the more full court passing drills you do, and it's just, again, we'll show one, but another one we went back to a lot was Jacobs, um, which some of you guys might call full, park, full court passing drill. I'm not sure what else you call it, but Jacobs, does everyone remember that? No? Am I that old? Am I that old? Jacobs? Um, so pass to the wing, the ball comes back, you pass to the person running and there's a cone, normally a cone on the uh, extended three point foul line down there, they get around that, you pass it, they peel out to the other side, the middle person gets it, this person comes out to there and they run back into it. Yep. I'm old. <laughs> it's a classic. Um, but it's really good. It's really good. Like who, 
Who finds their group still struggle, struggles with kick ahead passes? Yep. So m most of the female groups tend to. There's a part of that that is strength. So as these guys get older and stronger, they'll have a little bit more power. The other is sequencing. So how to connect as you're running all the pieces together to roll it through for the air for it to drop in. All right, and that just takes repetition. So doing drills like Jacobs, everyone knows Tennessee. Great. Drills like Tennessee, um, but with Tennessee, we'll put, so you see where the, uh, the buttons are on the halfway line. Yours, yours a bit closer than we have at the AS. But we'll put cones on that so they have to run so they can't encroach, encroach on the space. Um, we'll have them go up and back. Um, we'll only run, it, run those for like 60 seconds or 90 seconds. So it's short and sharp and we can run it multiple. So then they can compete against their own score. Uh, so we'll do those. And the more that we did it, we had probably like a lot of point guards that you guys have um, who are very comfortable dribbling the ball up, but struggle a little bit with the pass. By the end of Katie Diebels, um, who's now with the Flames, as a development player by the end, of, and sh she wasn't good at this, but by the end of the two years, her head was up and she had the power and she was dropping it in um, like she'd be doing it all her life. So the more that you do it, the better they'll get at it. It's pretty simple. Um, but we'll do this one because you can involve it to defense. So you guys see the volleyball line at the three quarter court. So let's get half on that side, half on that side. Let's grab two, two you guys. Hey, hey, grab a friend who's here, Georgia. Um, so you guys jump down here and jump down there. One ball. One ball. So again, we'll only run this for 60 seconds or 90 seconds. We call it three-quarter court um, fast break drill. Uh, so ball up here. Okay, again, because there's basketball rules in it. And you'll watch. We'll do this quickly and you'll see where everyone forgets the rules of basketball. So jump inside the court. Okay, who's your partner? All right, so when we say go, you should already be off to the races. All right, you've got one, one or two dribbles, whatever you need. So one or two dribbles, time it, off to the races. Go, 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 go. Right, you want to, left hand, left hand. Right, you want to hit her at the right time. Lay up, right time. Yep. Right, you're going to lay it up. Yep, you're going to lay it up. You're going to come down and get the rebounds. Lay it up. All right, you're out of there. All right, you get the ball. If it goes in, because it's basketball, right? If it goes in, take the ball out of bounds. Okay, you can choose which side you go. So if you get to here, take a ball. Inside foot, get out of bounds, you're going to pass to your teammate. Right, if it bubbled over to here and you've got it and you want to go this way, pass it to your teammate. Right, let's say you pass over to here, you're on the fly. You're going to get it, take a dribble if you need. Next person in, pass it. Right, you keep going. You guys get to these two spots here. Doesn't matter which spot. All right, and then you automatically go straight into it. So off to the races, Jade. Good, running into it on the money. Let's say you miss it. Well done. All right, what do you do now? Great, you don't take it out of bounds. That would be out of bounds. Good, kick it to here. You keep running, you guys get to the side here. Again, get out of the way. Ellie. Off to the races, good. We're gonna start thinking two steps ahead. Good. We put it in. Very good, let's say you pass it. Good, you can pass out to that side. Good, you guys fill these spots. Very good. All right. Here we go, 60 seconds, roll through. Next person. Good, rebound, rebound, rebound. There we go, out of bounds. Good, make sure we talk on this, talk on it, talk on it. Let her know, let her know. Yes, good. Stay in bounce, good. Good, let's talk on it. Rebound. Very good. Kill each side. All right, good, hold up. Very good, picked it up really well. Okay, so the same thing that I'm gonna say with every other drill, what are we missing? Talk. All right, so there's a couple of ways that you can talk, which is cheering. Yep, well done, good job. Yep. You can also call names and count. Yep, which is the next easiest thing to do, which is one, two, three, four. Yep, Jade. Yep, Ellie, Tia, right? The hardest thing to do is directional. Yep. So yes, yeah, send it now, open. Get the rebound. Yep, pass, I'm ready, I'm going. All right, so I want you to add in the directional, instructional. So tell each other what to do. Yep, tell everyone what you're doing. All right, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Everyone's talking. One of those three things. Make sense? All right, balance up. So ball back up there. So when you guys go back up on top. 
All right, 30 seconds. Everyone's talking. Off you go. All right, stop. How many people spoke? How many people spoke? What's your name? Lexi? Yeah. Lexi. Lexi was the only one that spoke. How many people do we say have to talk? Everyone. And guys, I know I sound like all of your other coaches, but there's a reason why we all say the same thing, right? And passing doesn't happen without talking, right? It doesn't happen without talking. So everyone talking. Ready? Good. Same bounce. What are we doing? What are we doing? Talk, talk. Good. Good correction. Good. Nice. Good. Good way to recognize that thing go in. Good job. Everyone's talking. 10 seconds. Everyone talking. Talk him, talk him, talk him. Good talk, good. All right, hold up, good job. Good job, ladies, hold up. Nice work. All right, so I'm sure you guys are all very diligent with telling them how to talk. You can see just from that, right, and it's getting their buy into it, is as soon as they start talking, they have a better understanding of what's happening. Right? And then all of a sudden, we're a much cleaner team. So that's why it's on one of the five points, is being a great passing team doesn't happen without communication. So if you're on that, stay on that. Right? And even to the point where you have to hold them accountable for it, then you have to hold them accountable for it. All right? I've been in a position where I've made my whole team run for a whole session because I didn't talk enough. Right? Unfortunately, sometimes that's the way it works. Other times, buy-in. Other times, is shown without talking and then show them and get them to have a think about and then show them with talking and get them to reflect on that, right? That was so much better, wasn't it? Yeah. Right? So really, it, it's a must, we must have that in there. Um, okay, again, making it super contextual. So let's have four on four. So four on four, four black, four white. So let's get wings here, wings over here. Uh, Jade and who's the next big for you guys? You guys can play against each other. You guys are good. All right, so you guys up here, and then let's get some guards over here. Everyone else off. Okay. So Jade, start with the ball. We like to have the ball in the big's hands, right? It just balances up, takes some pressure off the guard, right? And it makes them have to play out here. Plus, we have some really talented bigs coming through. So get them touches, all right? Ball comes through here. You can make a choice. Yep, you can blast cut out of the corner. So blast cut, stay in the corner. Switch over, switch over. So a blast cut, right, is you just run straight at your man, hit her in the guts. Good, now lead out, right? Easiest way to get open, okay? Right, same thing, you'd try and lead at your man and then get open. You can pass to either side. Then you're gonna go set a non-ball. So let's say you came to this side, come set a non-ball here, right? Let's play out of that. Good. Roll, pop, jade. You can set a down screen. Yep, keep the act. Yep, set a down screen. You guys can play out of that. Good. Okay. It's just a start, right? They get some pick and roll play. Whatever you need to work on, they're playing out of this. They've got eight seconds to play, right? So it has to happen quick, right? Eight seconds to play. Whoever scores it or turns it over is out. So let's say, Jade, you shot it. So then you're out. Good. So drop the ball. Okay, now defense, one, two, three, you go straight onto defense, but your job is to try and steal the ball. All right, whatever you can. So it's not a defensive drill, so you're trying to steal it. So let's say you go to the ball here, right, maybe you're trying to get, so you're going that way. Face the other way. All right, so you're fast breaking that way. So you're trying to steal it, you're trying to steal it, you're trying to steal it. White, you're trying to fast break, you got eight seconds, right, you'd be flying down. Right? We're looking for good passes. Try and, all you're trying to do is find the open man until you get a score. Make sense? All right, so eight seconds pick and roll. 4v3, fast break passing. Yep, to a score. Defense, you're trying to steal it. Does that make sense? All right, let's have a look. Back in, Jay.
Turn over, go, go. Just drill him one more. Right, here we go. Walk it back, subs in. Charlie's out, Charlie's out. Go, 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 go. Oh, who's open? Good. All right. And you can see that that's the shape of the drill, right? You can see if the defense is pressuring up. We didn't drop anyone out then, but the defense is pressuring up. Somebody's going to be open, their head's up. All you're trying to do is find the open man, right? The more that you practice finding the open man, you build confidence, you get repetition, you can then get some feedback on whether it was a good pass, execution-wise, decision-wise. Right, so that's the shape of that drill. We'll just go one more drill. Um, yes? If you do drop somebody out, who drops out? Either the person that shot it or turn the ball over. All right. So who shot the ball on that one? Charlie. Charlie. So Charlie should have been out on that one. Okay, last drill. Uh, five on five. Let's get the ball out of bounds. Going that way, full court. All right, so how would you guys set up? You got a guard at the top. You got some wing runners. Do we, have a, do we have a rim runner? Yep. Jay's got a rim runner, she's gonna bounce back, that's up to her. Okay, good. Defense, we're gonna have you in a one, two, one, one. Go. Defense, one, two, one, one. Don't care how you do it. One, two, one, one. Okay, good. All right. Blue, your job, right? You can only take one dribble max. You can only take one dribble max when you catch the ball. That's each of you. When you catch the ball, you've got one dribble to create an angle, right, to get away from the D to make a good pass. Your job is to work the ball down and get the ball across the baseline like a touchdown in NFL. Does everyone know what NFL is? Does everyone know what a touchdown is? You know, when they spike it? Yes? All right, so your job, what's your name? Abby? Annabelle, sorry. If Annabelle and I are on the same team, right, and she got the ball there, and she can't take a dribble, right, and I'm her teammate, you can throw it to me, I run across to here, that's a touchdown. That's all you have to do. If you get that, that's a score, you come back, you go again. White, if you get a steal, or you stop them from doing that within 20 seconds, you get the ball and you start that end, and you come back this end. Make sense? So White, you're trying to be as disruptive as you can. You're trying to stop them from getting a touchdown. Not a score, a touchdown. Make sense? Here we go, Annabelle. Get them White, get them White. What are you doing, Blue? Turnover, good. White, down that end. Blue, you're in a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Start when you get there. Start when you get there. Turnover, blue ball, blue ball down this end. White, white, you're in a 2-2-1. Two, 2-2-1 two, one. Two, two, one, white, 2-2-1. Two, two, one. Find a way, blue. <laughs> Touchdown, good, blue, bring it back. Blue, bring it back. Start this end, blue, start, blue, blue, blue. This is your end, start here. All right, hold up. White, white, you're in man to man. Match up, go, go. White ball, take it out of bounds. White ball, blue, you're matched up. Blue ball, down this end. We're gonna go one more rep each. All right, 
Guys, pretty good, right? A lot of new stuff coming out here today, all right? How many people need to be available for the ball to get up the court to get a touchdown? Everyone, right? So take away press breakers, right? You'll have that stuff, but for now, we're under pressure, right? So our biggest job is to break pressure, right? So you need to be available. You need to be available, right? You maybe do set a screen, flash to the middle, circle out, double up. Yep, but everyone's going to be available to get the touchdown on the, on the baseline. Uh, White, you're in a one... A one, three, one. Ready? Go. Find the gaps, Blue. Find the gaps. Find the gaps. Good. Touchdown. White, same thing. Blue, you're in a one, three, one. White ball. White ball. That's your end, White. Just like rugby, guys. One, three, one, Blue. Good, good. Nice dribble. Get over the baseline. Ooh. Where's the talk? Oh, white, really good. Good job. Nice job. Okay. Uh, so, again, you can probably see what we're trying to do there. Spread it in the full court, get them to be a little bit more understanding of what pressure is, where the gaps are available, then making, and then just being in the moment where, okay, I'm, I threw that and I should have thrown that, or I threw that, and I should have thrown that, all right? Getting them to kind of try, explore, and then learn through their own feedback.